Alright, what's going on guys? Afflicted Gamer here back with another Division video. It's Friday, the vendors have reset, so I'm gonna go around from place to place, easy checkpoint to checkpoint to find out what the best items are for sale this week in the Division. So, if this video is helpful in any way, shape, or form, please drop it a like because it's very much appreciated and it does help the channel grow. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Division content as I do put these out every single week. And I will, as always, remind you guys to double check the hub down here just as one Blueprints vendor because now all Blueprints go across all characters. But there is a Super 90 that I actually don't have. So that's here and there will be one other weapon here at Gear Score 256. And we've got Electronic Gloves. So double check him. There might be a couple of things here, maybe a prototype firearms mod, stamina mod, something of that sort. Moving over to our exotics and gear, first up we have the Historian. It's not terrible, so if you don't have 144% headshot damage, harmful, predatory, history repeats. Get rid of harmful for something else and make use out of that in PvE. Same thing with the Pecan. The Pecan's actually quite good this week. 14% damage, two targets out of cover with Brutal, Unforgiving, and Pecan, which is very nice. Tactical SASG 12k with Unforgiving, Destructive, and Commanding. Commanding's in the free slots, so reroll that however you wish. Make use out of it in PvE or PvP. Too bad the Stagger wasn't a little bit higher at 289 uh, percent, but you know what? It's not too, it's not terrible if you are in need of one. So, uh, tacticians, authority vest, 1258 stamina with skill haste, enemy armor damage, and increased kill XP. You could throw health on there in place of the enemy armor damage if you need to. There is also a banshee backpack, 1262 stamina again. Remember, stamina will be helpful in 1.8. 9% critical hit damage and burn resist in the miner. I would just reroll that for ammo capacity because I hate running out of ammo. And other than that, I'll let you guys just take a look at these things. I mean, these are pretty decent defense pads. I won't throw these in the description, but I know people do like to see what is here. The sentry gloves aren't too bad. If you get, if you can reroll the firearms number, make it higher. If you do use a shotgun and you're in desperate need because you don't have classifieds, you could get them for now. Other than that, I would just hope for a drop of classified gear. That is it. We're going to move on. All right, upstairs at the armory. For those of you that are a fan of LMGs and use builds like Lone Star, I would take a look at this Black Market RPK-74. 13% damage to targets out of cover. Predatory, brutal, and ferocious. Perfect for PvE. At the Dark Zone gear vendor up in the base of Ops, he's got a prototype electronics mod for sale here. 241 electronics, which is a bit low, but 3,310 health. If you don't have the blueprint or any better electronics mods, I would go ahead and pick a few of these up until you can replace them for better ones. Uh, was hoping to make it. Down at Camp Hudson, he's got one item for sale, which is this prototype performance mod. 4% ballistic shield damage resilience. Go ahead and pick that up if you are running builds like defense. Alright, down at the cavern safe house, he's got two items for sale here. First up, we've got another damage to elites mod this week, which is nice for those of you that are interested. 189 electronics, 3% damage to elites, and 7.5% support station range. So, builds like Reclaimer, or if you just like to use a support station in general, go ahead and pick these up. When you're ready to buy. safe house it's not the greatest but if you are in desperate need of a vigorous chest plate you can pick this one up 1184 stamina 9% skill haste 15,000 health and kill XP in the minor reroll the kill XP for something else reroll the stamina number the choice is yours but if you really want a vigorous chest piece go ahead and pick this up for now until you get a better one don't worry it Alright, at the Southpaw safe house, he's got one item for sale here, prototype firearms mod, 243 firearms with over 3,000 health on it. Pick it up if you don't already have a better mod for your firearms. Whatever. See you around. 30 seconds. So moving into the dark, sadly that was it for all of the light zone safe houses this week, but over at West 
31st Street. There's a few items for sale here. First up, a tactical UMP-45. I know it's not the most popular SMG in the game, but you know what? I, I actually do like it, so I'm going to point this one out. 21.5% critical hit chance with destructive, determined, and ambusher. Next up, specialized backpack. Still love this thing. 1271 firearms, Update. stability, Supply and ammo capacity are on it. Keep the stability if you want and bump up the ammo capacity number or leave ammo capacity. Switch stability for something like health or skill power. Finally, prototype electronics mod. 230 electronics, which is bare minimum with uh, just under 3,000 skill power. Only grab that if you're desperate. If not, just leave it to get a, a better one. All right, at the West 42nd Street DZ checkpoint, for those of you that are running shotguns, a military M870 with Adept, Brutal, and Deadly on it, along with 315% stagger. Hey, you want to see this stuff or not? You need what I got. All right, at the West 46th Street DZ checkpoint, there is a prototype stamina mod for sale here. 261 stamina with 3% skill haze. Grab a bunch of these, especially for 1.8. Get yourself stocked up. I've got plenty of other clients. So, what's your point? Got this? You're dead. Are you threatening me? Okay, up at the East 40th Street DZ checkpoint, there is a prototype electronics mod for sale here. 259 electronics with 2,897 health. So, not too bad. Pick it up if you don't already have a better one or the blueprint. You might regret not buying from me. I doubt it, lady. Hoping for a little more consumer confidence. All right, at the DZ05 safe room, he's got an extended magazine for sale here with 115% mag size, a little bit over 3% crit hit chance, and 4% crit hit damage. Go ahead and grab a few of these, unless you already have a better one. Oh, you'll be back. No, I won't. You're dead. Well, she told me I'm dead. Okay, well, that's nice of you, lady. All right, in the DZ06 safe room, there's a few items for sale here. If you don't have the classified Deadeye, there's a Deadeye mask, 1236 firearms, over 9,000 skill power and burn resist in the miner. You could re-roll that for something else. A Predator's Mark Vest. I know classified is coming, but until then, 1206 stamina, 9% exotic damage resilience, which you can re-roll for skill haste if you wanted to, over 15,000 health and ammo capacity in the miner. Backpack of the Nomad, 1255 electronics, 8% crit hit damage, and bleed resist in the miner. You could re-roll that for ammo capacity, leave it as is, change the crit hit damage. Either way, you could make use out of this. Banshee knee pads, these are pretty good, especially strictly for a PvP gear set. 1266 firearms, 9% crit hit damage, blind death resist, burn resist, and disorient resist. Perfect. Almost, you just lead resist and you could uh, have a perfect pair of banshee pads that's fine someone else will want it probably all right moving on okay at the park Ave DZ checkpoint there's a few items for sale here first up converted SMG 9 20 and a half percent critical hit chance with talented adept and unforgiving you could reroll either talented job for something else or keep this for a skill build Next up, Lightweight M4, 21% enemy armor damage, destructive, vicious, ferocious. You could actually leave it as is, great for PvE, or you could actually reroll ferocious off for something else, deadly, responsive, and make use out of this in PvP. Last, Paratrooper SVD with 165% headshot damage, adept, deadly, and disciplined are on it. I would probably reroll off disciplined uh, for to be completely honest, for something else, because we got Adept and Deadly on the top slots, and you have yourself a good Marksman Rifle right there. Alright, and for our final stop of the week up at the DZ09 safe room, uh, these items are only if you don't have the classified sets if you're new to the game. First up, we have a Deadeye Vest, health on kill, you could reroll that off for health because you do have 9% skill haste and 48% ammo capacity, just make up for the 1152 low stamina number. And to go with that, Deadeye Knee Pads, 1244 stamina, 3.5% enemy armor damage, which you could reroll for health or crit hit damage, doesn't matter. And then you got Disorient Resist, Shock Resist, and Increased Kill XP. 
that is it for everything that we have this week in the division again guys if the video was helpful in any way shape or form please drop it a like because it's very much appreciated and if you are new to the channel hopefully you'll consider subscribing for more division content as i will continue to put these out every single week through the ups and downs of this game no matter what because i know a lot of people are on edge right now with 1.8 and rogue 2.0 all of that good stuff not going anywhere so you know what just uh Wanted to mention that. Hopefully you guys will stick around as well. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your day. Grab what you need, and I will see you very soon in the next video.